In this video, I will illustrate the notion of update anomaly and will provide you with examples of insertion, modification and deletion anomaly. This table is on page 104 of the textbook, figure 4.4. The records in this table are about advertisement campaigns and each record is uniquely identified by an ad campaign ID and a modus ID. So the same campaign, for instance, 222, Summer Zinc 20 campaign, can be delivered through different modi, one, three, and five. To understand what an insertion anomaly is, suppose that the ad agency introduced a new modus that is called modus seven, and is uh, based on the internet, and it has a national range. Now, because of the integrity constraint, which means that we cannot have null as a value of a primary key, if we want to add a new modus, we also have to add a value to the corresponding ad campaign ID. So we cannot add a new modus without also adding some information about some campaign that that modus is associated to. So the only way, the only workaround to do that would be to create a ad campaign ID that never existed and therefore and that would allow us to actually add a new record but the problem is from this table now it looks like we have an ad campaign ID that was never performed so that is what an insertion anomaly is in order to add some information about one entity the modus we are forced to add some information about some other entity, the campaign ID in this case. The modification anomaly means that whenever we want to modify a record in one place, we have to do the same edit in multiple places. So for instance, suppose that we realize that campaign 222 did not actually last 30 days, but it only lasted 20 days. Now, if we just modified it only in one location, the problem is we have inconsistent information because now in the first line, record 222 shows 20 days, but in the second one, it still shows 30 days. So if we don't want to end up with inconsistent information, we have to change this value in multiple locations. The third anomaly is a deletion anomaly which means that whenever we want to delete information about one entity, we also end up losing information about another entity. So for instance, suppose that we realize that information 444 never existed, a just wrong record, and we want to delete it. Now, if we delete this, we also end up losing information about the modus 6 that was only used for campaign 444. This can be a problem because, for instance, if we want to retrieve a list of all the modi that are available and we can sell to customers, now we have lost information about Modus 6 because Modus 6, information about Modus 6 has gone away together with a campaign ID 444. So this concludes the illustration of uh, update anomalies.